Okay, when we need to cut, sometimes you might need to cut, say, these strips out of a wider piece, uh, and you might have a guillotine, you can use a Stanley knife and a cutting mat and a rule. This is a safety rule, and you'll see why in a minute, because you can push down on it and your fingers are nowhere near the cutting edge. Uh, use the cutting mat, please, because you'll either wreck underneath the bench or you'll blunt these really quick. All right, now when we go to cut, if you're going to cut across here, you'll need to do it in around about five or six passes of the knife. Don't try and cut it in one go. So when you cut, fingers out of the way, hold it down nice and firm, and just drag it across your veneer. It's four, five, and you can hear it cutting through, and you'll soon find that it will cut straight through. And you've got a nice, straight edge there because you've taken your time and you've cut it four or five passes. If you try and do it in one go, sometimes what will happen is it might make, it might do it. Sometimes you'll try and do it in one go and what will happen is you'll go offline or at the end these just break away. So it's best that you try and do it in several passes and you'll find that it'll end up a nice straight edge. Also when you're cutting with the grain, um, it's a lot easier to cut, but sometimes if you try and do it in one go, you'll cut it and the knife will tear it away and it will tear underneath the blade, underneath the, uh, the ruler here, and you end up with a crooked cut. So if you're doing a long cut, like you would do for one of these uh, strip veneers here, you still need to do the same process. Take your time. And I'm hardly really pressing on that at all. Three cuts. Oh, you can see that one started to go off. And there you go, nice straight cut. 